here I am in my Azure portal and I click on Azure Active Directory. And from the left hand side, I select Azure AD Connect. And you can see that the sync status is enabled and the password hash sync is also enabled. So I need to disable the sync status and the password hash synchronization. And after that, we can uninstall the Azure AD Connect software on my on-premise server. In order to uninstall an Azure AD Connect on-premise server, we need to follow three steps. First is to disable the on-premise server synchronization. Then we would need to turn off the directory synchronization. And finally, we would need to uninstall the Azure AD Connect software itself. Why we would need to uninstall an Azure AD Connect server? For example, if all your users are now migrated onto the cloud and you do not need the server anymore, this could be one of the reasons why you would need to decommission your Azure AD Connect server. To start things off, first I would like to show you the synchronization. If I go to Azure AD Connect and if I go to the synchronization service and if I go to my connections, I can see that my last synchronization was around 10 minutes ago and it was successful. So I need to stop these two synchronizations. So let's close this at the moment and let's open a PowerShell in administrator mode. And let's run a few commands. These commands I shall put in the description so that it would be easy for you to follow along. And the first command would be to import the AD Sync module. And then we would need to stop the synchronization as mentioned earlier. So let me check the current status. And the current status would be true because my synchronization is active. So now I would set the status to false. So let's copy this command. And let's set the status to false. And now let's check the status again. As you can see now, the status has changed from true to false. This means that my on-premise synchronization has been disabled. Now I would need to connect to my Azure Active Directory. So in, in order to do that, I need to run the connect msol service command. And you might encounter an error. And if you do encounter that the connect msol service is not recognized, you would need to follow a few steps. So first we would set the TLS connection to 1.2. And then we would install the Azure AD module. Say A for yes to all. Once my Azure AD module is installed. Let's, let's install the MS Online module. Let's say A for yes to all. And let this install. Once the MS Online module has been successfully installed, we need to import the same module. So let's click on import the same module. This has been successfully imported. So now let's log in to our Azure AD Connect. So I'm going to get my credentials and store it in this variable. So I shall store my credentials. So this is my global administrator account that is used to access my Azure AD connect on my portal
So once my credentials are saved, I shall connect using the same credentials. And now, as you can see, I was, I'm not getting the error anymore. Let's log in. Log in using my authenticator app. And now you can see that I have connected into my Azure AD portal successfully. And I am not getting this error anymore. Now I need to turn off the directory synchronization. Let's check first what is the status. If we run this command, we shall see that the status is true. So let's set the status to false. Yes, I would like to do this. And now let's go and check the status again. And the status has been changed from true to false. So now I have stopped my sync on my on-premise and I've stopped my directory sync as well. Before we go ahead and uninstall the Azure AD Connect software, we need to stop the password synchronization hash. So let's open up Azure AD Connect and click on configure. Let's click on customize synchronization options. Click next. Log in with your global administrator account. Click next. Click on next. Click on next and disable the two options that we have over here. If you have any other options, you can disable them as well. So I would disable the password hash synchronization and password write back option and click next. Click next and let this configure. Once the password hash synchronization has stopped, we can go ahead and uninstall the Azure AD Connect software. So let's go to control panel. And as you would uninstall any regular program, you would do the same for the Azure AD Connect. Click on uninstall. And we would remove everything. So everything that is ticked and say remove. And once this is completed, I shall come back to this video. Now my Azure AD Connect software has been uninstalled successfully. After my Azure AD Connect server has been successfully uninstalled, you would notice that your users have turned from yes to no in the on-premise synchronization enabled. In my previous video, all my users that were synced from my on-premise Active Directory were termed as yes. After the uninstallation, they have become no. The second thing to note would be to go back into my Azure AD Connect. And see that I have not installed the Azure AD Connect software. Previously, this was enabled. So these are the two things that you would notice after the uninstallation of your Active Directory on-premise server.